Hello there and welcome back to another episode. In this one we are taking just a quick minute to look at workhorse stocks. Of course, workhorse has been all over the place over the past six months. It's really been a volatile year for this one, but honestly it has not done too bad towards the end period. There is still some hope for that USPS contract and a few other factors which could still send workhorse stock on the upside. So of course, tonight's question is, is workhorse stock a buy? I am not a financial advisor and nothing which I'm going to say in this video is necessary fact it's just my opinion but in this one we are going to be having a quick look at how it has been moving and making our assumptions based on the facts so if that does sound like a great plan please do leave a like and do subscribe to the channel and of course if you did want to come and join us on discord to talk about stocks link to the discord will be down in the description of course um, if you do want to become a channel member you can do so by pressing the join button but let's jump straight into this one So of course, if we do have a quick look at our screens right now, we can see that workhorse stock is currently worth um, $21.66. On the one day chart, which is, I do believe today, we are unfortunately down again, so not looking too good. On the five day chart, we are slightly up, so it is looking kind of decent. I mean, we did have a look at Helion, which is a similar um, company in the sense that it saw the same kind of stock pattern on the six month chart, and that was not doing as well. But when we're looking at Workhorse, you know, it's not doing as bad. So obviously on the one month chart, we are still unfortunately down. We'd be down a lot more if it wasn't for this big increase here, but unfortunately it wasn't enough to sustain that price as it did unfortunately dip a little bit further, but not to the lows that we were at before. So let's get a percentage figure on that. If we look to how far we are down on the one month, if we can, uh, a Apparently you won't let me, which is great. So yeah, not looking too good on the one month though. That is what I can tell you. If we are looking out to the six month chart, we can see, like I said, a lot of this hype is coming from obviously the initial merge. And then the fact that that USPS contract has basically thrown a lot of hype into this stock in the sense that a lot of people do want this company to get the deal so of course unfortunately the news at the minute according to the motley fool is that this contract is apparently delayed i mean this is only four uh, six weeks ago sorry sorry four weeks ago but you know it is still kind of delayed and it has not been decided upon yet i do believe and for that reason it is kind of showing us that you know it's not necessarily going to be the quickest thing to happen, but if it does happen and if it does go in the favour of Workhorse, we are looking at some potentially huge growth for this stock in the future. So, of course, looking at whether this one is a buy right now, I mean, I do think that it's not going to go too much lower, which is a good thing. I do think it's definitely a decent buy um, overall, but my personal views on this one is, yes, if you were going to hold it for the long term, potentially it's a good buy, but, you know, for the short term, it is still potentially a good buy because, you know, the USPS contract is still kind of on the table in a way. But uh, either way, I do believe that there are potentially less risky and more high reward deals in other stocks. So, of course, yes, this might not be a bad company to buy overall, but I do think that there are potentially better deals which you could get out there on different stocks. Obviously, if that USPS contract does get landed, I do see a lot of growth coming to the stock price. But if it doesn't, you know, it's definitely going to be one of those which is going to underwhelm a lot of investors and then they might even pull out which could potentially send the stock price lower and of course that is a big factor when it comes to buying this stock and you've got to decide for yourself whether you want to take that risk so of course i'm just going to leave us on that note now i hope you enjoyed this quick update video if you did please do leave a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one goodbye until then